Hi, this is Mr. Doublestein, and today I'd like to take you through the activation process for the Smart Music program. If you're a Pages renter, you'll want to have your CD, your Smart Music CD handy. The CD itself isn't, isn't very important, it's the code on the back of the label that's very, very key. In order to activate the software, you'll need that code. Okay, so when you open Smart Music for the first time, this will be the screen that you'll see, and you'll notice that the software has to be activated before it can be used. So click on the Activate button. If you can remember your login information, the email address and password that you used last year, you'll enter that over here on the left. If, you're new, if you've forgotten it, click on Forgot Your Password, or if you're new and did not use Smart Music with us last year, you'll need to create a new account. So you'll follow through each one of those steps. Now, I'm a, I have a teacher account, so you'll notice that my login will look just a little bit different um, as I show you some of these things. Once you enter that information, click Login, and you'll have the option to select a subscription to activate. Most students should not have an option to select a subscription. Most of those subscriptions will have already lapsed. So there will be two options there for, for, those, for students in that situation, and that is either to purchase a new subscription or to enter a smart music code. We'll talk about the code here in a minute. But for those folks who are not Pages renters, if you do not currently pay to rent your instrument from Pages, you're, you'll need to purchase a new subscription. So you'll click that link and it'll take you to the page where you can go ahead and do that. Uh, we use the Smart Music Student subscription, that's $36, um, and that's what you'll want to download. That can be downloaded either on the netbook, excuse me, on the netbook, or onto a home computer. Once you've paid for that subscription, it'll take you through the process um, to activate the rest of the software and you'll be all set. Uh, it's up to families about whether they'd rather do it on the, no the netbook or at home. Either one is fine as long as one will work. The advantage of doing it on the netbook is if there's problems, they can just bring the computer to the teacher and we can help them with that. So I'm going to cancel out of that because a lot of our folks are still renting from pages. And if you are still renting from pages, you'll click on enter a smart music code. And that's where, you're, where you will use that code that we talked about on the back of the CD. Just enter it in and this activation code will no longer be active once I have entered it. I don't believe it matters whether there are capital letters or not. You can try it either way. Enter the code and click continue. Then it'll ask if this is the activation you want to, to go forward with and click activate now. That's all that's required in order to activate the software. Um, you click done and it'll bring up the smart music um, home screen. You can log in Make sure you're enrolled in the correct class and you're set to go. Uh, if, um, if you're not sure which class to enroll in, we can help with that as well. And maybe I can put up a separate video uh, if we're able to do that. Or we can just help kids there at school. But for most folks, it should be pretty self-explanatory from there. Please do let your teacher know, your child's teacher, either myself or Ms. Leatherberry, if you have any further questions. And we'll do our best to help.